Shalom. All praise to you. How about Shimmy? How about Part two. I will proceed to do a marvelous work. <coughs> Let's go back. Isaiah 44, verse 3. For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty and floods upon the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon thy seed and my blessing upon thine offspring. So the Israelites are inheriting the understanding. Starting with the elect, the Israelites have the breakdown of the Bible, are able to prophesy, are able to interpret the scriptures. The elect of Israel is interpreting the words of the Most High through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, the gift of the Holy Spirit. That's why he says, my spirit, let's go ahead and get it. Isaiah 59. The book of Isaiah, chapter 59, verse 21. As for me, this is my covenant with them, saith the Lord, my spirit that is upon thee, and my words which I have put in thy mouth shall not depart out of thy mouth, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, seed, saith the Lord, from henceforth and forever. So now words of the Most High is communicated to the hopeful elect through the comforter, the comforter that teaches us all things, that gives us the oil of understanding, that gives us the light to be able to understand and break down the word, which is the wisdom. So that light is the wisdom shared through the comforter. <clears throat> Let's get a scripture on that. What is that wisdom? Let's go to Wisdom of Solomon 7. See? Verse 27. Wisdom of Solomon 7, verse 27. And being but one, she can do all things. And remaining in herself, she make of all things new. And in all ages, entering into holy souls, she maketh them friends of the Most High and prophets. See that? So that's the comforter. That's why, that's why Yahweh Shai had to shed his blood so that the comforter may come to the hopeful elect. See, verse 22, Wisdom of Solomon 7. Verse 22. <clears throat> Go to verse 21. The book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7, verse 21. And all such things as are either secret or manifest, them I know. See? So we know through the gift and spirit and power of Yahweh. By Shem Yahweh Shai. Verse 22. For wisdom which is the worker of all things, taught me, for in her is an understanding spirit holy, only one manifold, subtle, lively, clear, undefiled, plain, not subject to hurt, loving the thing that is good, quick, which cannot be let it, ready to do good. But how are we getting the spirit of truth and understanding. I'm going to show you. Let's go back to Philippians 4 and 13. <clears throat> That's why Yahweh Shai shed his blood to break the seal. So that blood was spread on the tabernacle. That's why the tabernacle of David is receiving the gift of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. The light of wisdom and the oil of understanding. Why? Let's go back to Philippians 4, verse 13. I can do all things through Hamashiach, 
Yahweh Shai, which strengthened me. See, that's the gift of the Holy Spirit, the light of wisdom and the oil of understanding. Let's read it again. <clears throat> Philippians 4, verse 13. I can do all things through Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, which strengthened me. So through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, we can do all things, prophesy, teach, interpret, break down scriptures. Isaiah 44, verse 3. For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty and floods upon the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon thy seed and my blessing upon thine offspring and they shall spring up as among the grass as willows by the water courses for those that are springing up from the valley of the dry bones are the Israelites those that are coming to life through the spirit of truth starts with the tabernacle of David and followed by the remnant or the elect who were springing to life out of the dry wasteland out of the desert of the sea and wickedness, the lands of our captivities. Isaiah 44, verse 21. The book of Isaiah chapter 44, verse 21. Remember these, O Jacob and Israel, for thou art my servant. I have formed thee. Thou art my servant. O Israel, thou shalt not be forgotten of me. Mosiah is not going to forget his firstborn. Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is not going to cast away his sheep. He's searching the mountains and the hills and the valleys. He's searching us through the Holy Spirit, through the prophets, apostles, elders. For this truth is searching out the hopeful elect and his words are going out to the ends of the earth by prophecy. So the men of the Lord are putting in some work so that this voice is going to be heard to the hopeful elect around the world. So the Most High will not cast away his people, which starts with the elect of Israel. Let's read that again. <clears throat> book of Isaiah chapter 44 verse 21 remember these O Jacob and Israel for thou art my servant I have formed thee thou art my servant O Israel thou shalt not be forgotten of me I have blotted out as a thick cloud thy transgressions and as a cloud thy sins return unto me for I have redeemed thee. So we've been purchased or brought back by the blood of Yahweh Shai. Let's prove that. Let's go to Acts 20, somewhere around verse 27. The book, the book of Acts, chapter 20, verse 27. For I have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of the Most High. We got to teach the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I remember a sister coming on my co comment board <clears throat> saying, why are we talking about marriages and multiple wives and all that that the Bible talks about? I just answered it because the Bible talks about it. Shut up, okay? Shut your mouth. She was like, why are we talking about this? Let's read it again. Acts 20, verse 27. For I have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of the Most High. So the cave man or the cave creatures tell you to keep running your mouth. The men of the Lord is telling you to be quiet. The Bible says a silent and loving, let's get it. 
because I'm getting ready to butcher it. I got to get, get this first. Verse 28. So how do we have the wisdom or the light of this truth and the oil of understanding? Let's get it. Verse 28. Acts 20, verse 28. Take heed thereto unto yourselves and to all the flock over the which the Holy Spirit have made you overseers to feed the church of the Most High, which he have purchased with his own blood. So that's how the comforter was released. The spirit of truth. Through Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. That says a silent. Let me <coughs> find that. Sirach 26, verse 14. A silent and loving woman is a gift of the Lord. And there is nothing so much worth as a mind well instructed. So the women of the hopeful elect are learning in silence, meek and humble, and following the lessons, not running their mouth for the greasy Kentucky Fried Chicken, big Raspatia looking woman is constantly running her mouth and won't humble down. Let's go back. The Most High has blotted out our sins through the blood of Yahweh Shai, a Mashiach. That's how we were purchased or redeemed, brought back into the covenant. <clears throat> Let's read it again. Isaiah 44, verse 22. I have blotted out as a thick cloud thy transgressions, and as a cloud thy sins. Return unto me, for I have redeemed thee. But we read in Acts 20, verse 28. We've been purchased back, brought back or redeemed into the covenant, back grafted back in through the blood of Yahweh Shai, from Mashiach. Why? Because it's written in our Hebrew Old Testament law. A blood sacrifice must be spilled for sin. Isaiah 44, verse 23. Sing, O ye heavens, for the Lord hath done it. Shout ye lower parts of the earth, break forth into singing, ye mountains, O forest, and every tree therein, for the Lord hath redeemed Jacob and glorified himself in Israel. See? So how is the Lord being glorified? Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is being glorified through his elect prophets, teachers, apostles, standing out boldly in the face of those that hate us, that have afflicted us, and telling them they're going into slavery and that he's going to raise up the elect of Israel, starting with the tabernacle of David. So Yahweh is being glorified by his witnesses, his servants, the prophets. Isaiah 44. What are these mountains and hills? All the places where we've been scattered, the governments, <clears throat> the governments of those that are ruling, ruling over us. <clears throat> Mountains and hills are governments. Isaiah 44, verse 23. Sing, O ye heavens, for the Lord hath done it. Shout, ye lower parts of the earth. Break forth into singing, ye mountains, O forest, and every tree therein. For the Lord hath redeemed Jacob and glorified himself in Israel. These forests and trees is talking about people. Okay, let's prove that. Let's go to, I think it's Mark 8 and 24. <clears throat> the book of Mark, chapter 8. Verse 24, verse 23. And he took the blind man by the hand 
and led him out of the town. And when he had spit on his eyes and put his hands upon him, he asked him if he saw aught. And he looked up and said, I see men as trees walking. See, the Most High is speaking poetically in similitude, metaphors that Isaiah 44 verse 23 seen O ye heavens for the Lord have done it shall ye lower parts of the earth break forth into singing O ye mountains O forests and every tree therein for the Lord hath redeemed Jacob and glorified himself in Israel thus saith the Lord thy redeemer and he that formed thee from the womb. I am the Lord that maketh all things, that stretcheth forth the heavens alone, that spreadeth abroad the earth by myself. So we serve a mighty power, all-knowing, all-powerful, omniscient, and omnipotent, all-powerful. <clears throat> so he's going to save Israel, starting with the elect. Well, he's making himself known by his servants, the prophets, his witnesses. Isaiah 44, verse 25. But well, what is he doing to these cave creatures that are oppressing the earth? The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Job 9 and 24. Let's see what he's doing to them. Isaiah 44, verse 25. That frustrateth the tokens of the liars and maketh diviners mad. That turneth wise men backwards and maketh their knowledge foolish. So the PhD player degrees of these cave creatures is null and void. You've been exposed as the devil that the Bible speaks of. Devil means Deceiver, slanderer, or false accuser comes from the Greek, Diablos. For well, you've been deceived. We've been deceived. But now, so the world was deceived. The Bible says Satan would deceive the whole world. So now, through this truth, through this word, it's shedding light on darkness. So now, the Most High is revealing his face, which is being portrayed by prophets that are teaching the word. The Most High's face is his word, this doctrine, because Satan deceived the whole world. And that's talking about Esau, the devil the physical manifestation of the spiritual demon, Satan. Let's go back to that, because he deceived the whole world. Let's go back to that. I kind of lost my place. So they are being frustrated by the word of the Lord. That's why they're taking down videos, deleting comments, del <coughs> deleting lessons, deleting videos taking down channels. I can't see most of the comments that are being made. My comments get deleted. So they're being frustrated. Let's read it again. Isaiah 44, verse 25. That frustrated the tokens of the liars and make of diviners mad. That turn of wise men backwards and make of their knowledge foolish that confirmeth the word of his servant and performeth the counsel of his messengers that saith to Jerusalem thou shall be inhabited and to the cities of Judah ye shall be built and I will raise up the decayed places thereof the tabernacle of David is being built the city of Jerusalem is being built the elect of the house of Israel comprised of the remnant that's going to be saved. A one-third piece of the pie. Let's go 
going to be delivered on this side. <laughs> the Bible says, wisdom build a kingdom, for a kingdom is built by wisdom. I think that's wisdom of Solomon 6 and 20. Let's go to Psalms 127 verse 1. The book of Psalms, chapter 127, verse 1. Except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchmen make it but in vain. So you have to be built on the foundation of truth. This word, a kingdom is built on wisdom, an eternal kingdom is. But the daughter of Babylon was built on lies, deception, bloodshed, theft, robbery, treachery, deceit. Psalms 127, verse 1. Except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchmen baketh but in vain. Go to Psalms 51, verse 18. Do good in thy... Psalms 51, verse 18. Do good in thy good pleasure unto Zion. Build thou the walls of Jerusalem. See? So doing good is following the principles of wisdom. That is how an eternal kingdom of excellency is built for the wisdom of Solomon 6 verse 20 wisdom of Solomon chapter 6 verse 19 and incorruption maketh us near unto the most high therefore the desire of wisdom bringeth to a kingdom if your delight be then in thrones and scepters, O ye kings of the people, honor wisdom that ye may reign forevermore. See? So this kingdom, Babylon, under these cave creatures, is a temporary kingdom because it was built on lies, bloodshed, deception, rape, robbery, murder, racism. Let's go back. Psalms 51, verse 18. Do good in thy good pleasure unto Zion. Build thou the walls of Jerusalem. So we're doing that by coming through the word and the foundation of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Let's go to Isaiah 51, verse 16. So he's putting his words of wisdom and prophecy in the men of the Lord, elect. That starts with the tabernacle of David. <clears throat> Isaiah 51, verse 16. And I have put my words in thy mouth, and I have covered thee in the shadow of my hand, that I may plant the heavens and lay the foundations of the earth, and say unto Zion, thou art my people, See? So the foundations of the earth is being built on the pillars of wisdom. <clears throat> so this house of David is being built and our enemies are watching. Third temple being built <clears throat> right before their eyes. Isaiah 51 verse 16 And I have put thy words in thy mouth and I have covered thee in the shadow of my hand, that I may plant the heavens and lay the foundations of the earth and say unto Zion, Thou art my people. Awake, awake, stand up, O Jerusalem, which has drunk at the hand of the Lord the cup of his fury. Thou hast drunken the dregs of the cup of trembling and wrung them out. So we're being shot dead in the streets beat down, first fired, last hired, told that we're three-fifths of a man, choked out, tased, 
handcuffed, filling America's prison system. That's the dregs of the cup. Affliction, slavery, persecution. Isaiah 51, verse 18. There is none to guide her among all the sons whom she have brought forth. Neither is there any that taketh her by the hand of all the sons that she have brought up. The only hand that's going to save us and lift us up out of the ashes or the dust of confusion, out of the dust of the earth, is the hand, the right hand of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And that right hand is our Lord and Savior, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Yahweh Shai. That's how we're going to be lifted up out of the ashes or the dust of confusion. <coughs> there is none to guide her among all the sons whom she have brought forth. Neither is there any that taketh her by the hand of all the sons that she have brought up. These two things are come unto thee. Who shall be sorry for thee? Desolation and destruction and the famine and the sword. By whom shall I comfort thee? So we're being comfort, comforted by the word, the spirit of the Lord. That's how we're being comforted. The spirit of wisdom, knowledge, and truth. Well, he's leading us out of the wilderness by his right hand. That's the word made flesh. So right now, we're being led by the spirit, the Holy Spirit, an ancient spirit of truth. Let's keep going. So only the elect or the hopeful hopeful elect are going to hear the voice of the Lord. Isaiah 51, verse 19. These two things are come unto thee. Who shall be sorry for thee? Desolation and destruction and the famine and the sword. By whom shall I comfort thee? Thy sons have fainted. They lie at the head of all the streets as a wild bull in a net. They are full of the fury of the Lord, the rebuke of thy power. They, <coughs> for the fury of the Lord, fury of the Lord came upon Israel. That's why we fit the curses in Deuteronomy 28, spoken of in Daniel chapter nine. The fury of the Lord's cup is judgment, which came upon Israel. Now he's showing mercy and extending out his right arm. This word, which is also a comforter of the Holy Spirit that gives us wisdom, knowledge, and truth that comforts our soul, gives us hope. The heathen and Gentile nations are going to be judged, recompensed, which means to reward back. And the hopeful elect of Israel is going to be saved, redeemed, and delivered out of the hands of those that hate us. Isaiah 51, verse 20. <clears throat> Thy sons have fainted. They lie at the head of all the streets as a wild bull in a net. They are full of the fury of the Lord, the rebuke of thy power. Therefore, hear now this, Thou afflicted and drunken, but not with wine. Thus saith the Lord, the Lord, and the God that pleadeth the cause of his people. Behold, I have taken out of thine hand the cup of trembling, even the dregs of the cup of my fury. Thou shalt no more drink it again. So this mercy that he's showing in grace starts with this word going out throughout the earth. So the Spirit of the Lord is returning his face upon the earth. How is he doing that? I'm going to show you. Let's go to Psalms 119 and 135. <clears throat> Book of Psalms. So the, the Spirit of the Lord's face is upon the earth right now. His word that's being brought forth through 
his mouthpiece, his servants, the prophets. Let's prove that. Book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 135. Make thy face to shine upon thy servant and teach me thy statutes. Let's walk to verse 134. Deliver me from the oppression of man. So will I keep thy precepts. See? So this word is his face. Psalms 119, verse 136. Rivers of waters run down mine eyes because they keep not thy law. So we're returning back to the face of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai by coming back to his word. Because he did what? He turned his face from us. Let's go to Hosea 5 and I think 15. See, the book of Hosea, chapter 5, verse 15. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face and their affliction. They will seek me early. So now we're returning to his face, which is this word. Law, statutes, and commandments, which is his word. Let's go back. Isaiah 51, verse 20. Thy sons have fainted. They lie at the head of all the streets as a wild bull in a net. They are full of the fury of the Lord and rebuke of thy God. Therefore, hear now this, thou afflicted and drunken, but not with wine. Thus saith the Lord, the Lord and thy power that pleadeth the cause of his people. Behold, I have taken out of thy hand the cup of trembling, even the dregs of the cup of my fury. Thou shalt no more drink it again. Why? Because he's showing his mercy by revealing his face through his word. And all these curses are going to be turned upon the heathen and Gentile nations. That's why. Let's go to Deuteronomy 30. And seven, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30, verse seven. And the Lord, thy power, will put all these curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. And thou shalt return and obey the voice of the Lord and do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, his voice his face is his doctrine. <coughs> Let's go back to Isaiah 51, verse 21. Therefore, hear now this, thou afflicted and drunken, but not with wine. Thus saith the Lord, the Lord, and thy God that pleadeth the cause of his people. Behold, I have taken out of thy hand the cup of trembling, even the dregs of the cup of my fury. Thou shalt no more drink it again, but I will put it into the hand of them that afflicted thee, which have said to thy soul, Bow down, that we may go over. And thou hast made thy body as the ground and as the street to them that went over. So we were the doormats servants all all the other nations <clears throat> okay the doormats we were in the dust of servitude peasantry affliction confusion all these curses are getting ready to turn upon the heathen and gentile nations isaiah 51 verse 23 but i will put it into the hand of them that afflict thee, which have said to thy soul, bow down, that we may go over. And thou hast laid thy body as the ground and as the street to them that went over. So we're laid out in the streets, homeless, jobless, unemployed, afflicted, 
or filling 85% of America's prison system. So-called Negroes, Native Americans, and Latinos, children of Israel. <coughs> what we got next, Lord willing, let's go to Isaiah 60, verse 1. The book of Isaiah, chapter 60, verse 1. Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For that light is the light of wisdom. The light of wisdom through the oil of understanding. <clears throat> Let's read it again. If this world is in gross darkness under these cave creatures, the Edomites. Isaiah 60, verse 1. Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. Why? Because we got the face of the Lord, Yahweh Bashin, Yahweh Shai, through his word. Isaiah 60, verse 3. And the Gentiles shall come to thy light, and kings to the brightness of thy rising. Lift up thine eyes round about, and see, all they gather themselves together. They come to thee. Thy son shall come from far, and thy daughters shall be nursed at thy side. All the Israelites that are scattered, that went into captivity, are being gathered together under the house of David, as one nation will no longer be divided or separated, dispersed or scattered. These are Israelites being gathered together by the word. Isaiah 60, verse 4. Lift up thine eyes round about and see. All they gather themselves together, they come to see. Thy son shall come from far, and thy daughter shall be nursed at thy side. They're being gathered by the light of this wisdom. Let's go to Ecclesiastes 8. Ecclesiastes 8 and 1. Who is as the wise man, and who knoweth the interpretation of a thing? A man's wisdom maketh his face to shine, and the boldness of his face shall be changed. See? So those that have the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of these scriptures are shining. Back to Isaiah 60, verse 1. Arise, shine. For thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. The Israelites, starting with the elect. Go back to verse 4. Lift up thine eyes round about, and see. All they gather themselves together, they come to see. Thy son shall come from far, and thy daughter shall be nursed at thy side. We're going to close out here. So Israel is being gathered together by this word. And all the nations are seeing the glorious light of wisdom running out of voice. This is not easy, especially if you're by yourself. Don't think this is easy. You got to have a very heavy spirit through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Let's close out here. <coughs> Proverbs 24, verse 3. Through wisdom is a house built, and by understanding is it established. So that house of David is being built, or the third temple, through the spirit of truth, the foundation of wisdom. Proverbs, <coughs> Proverbs 24, verse 4. And by knowledge shall the chambers be filled with all precious and pleasant riches. A wise man is strong, yea, a man of knowledge, increased strength. For well, this word strengthens us and builds a house, the house of the hopeful elect that are coming into his temple. 
For the Bible tells us, know ye not that ye are the temple of the Lord and that he dwells within you. So that temple is a spiritual house that's being built on the foundations and principle or pillars of wisdom, which starts with this wise counsel, this doctrine. All praises to you. How about Shimmy Hawshai? By Shem and Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. See you on the next lesson, Lord willing. We got next, Lord willing. I will proceed to do a marvelous work. And that marvelous work are the children of Israel waking up in mass number as a sign and a miracle throughout all the earth. We got next, Lord willing. Kwame Yasharala and Abad Babao. Shalom, Barakatham.